One wounded warrior is going above and beyond recovering from combat injuries, and having his leg amputated isn't stopping the soldier from dreaming of Olympic gold. Master Sergeant Angie Sarche has this story from San Antonio, Texas. Corporal Michael Patrick shattered both his legs in April 2004 when his patrol was hit by an IED in Iraq. He spent time at Walter Reed, then moved to Brook Army Medical Center in San Antonio, Texas. After a failed knee replacement last year, Patrick decided that amputation was his best option. I've enjoyed the care I've got here. It's been great, excellent. The doctors explained exactly what was going to happen to me and seemed to care about what was going on and was made sure that we were aware of what was going on and what to expect as we went through it. Since his amputation, Patrick has been recovering at Bamsey's Warrior Transition Battalion. This new unit has been instrumental in his recovery with its close proximity to the main hospital, physical therapy center, and barracks complex. Another big contributor to Patrick's recovery came from a woman he didn't even know existed before the IED blast and now calls his wife. Meet Chelsea Patrick, who grew up in an Army family and now lives on base with her husband, where she helps other spouses with advice on how to care for their wounded loved ones. Just stick it out. You need to be by your husband's side. You need to put up with the everyday hassles of him or her annoying you, <laughs> you know, wanting something constantly. You married, you married that person. You have responsibility, regardless if, in my case, I got with my husband after he was injured. And I still, you know, I still stuck it out. I was still there for him. Still there for him. Not going anywhere. <laughs> And that's, I mean, that's my best advice to any military wives or husbands. They just need to stick by their husband's side or wife's, wife's side. That's probably the best way to stick it out. When Corporal Patrick isn't spending time at the hospital or a physical therapy, he's at the archery range. He's part of the Army's Paralympics archery team and hopes to make it to the 2012 Olympics. Uh, we have a lot of fun. We get to take a lot of trips to different states and different countries for the shoots. So we get to meet a lot of people, a lot of the people that were from Vietnam that were injured that are on it also. So we get to meet a lot of interesting people that are have been through the same things we have. No soldier ever goes onto the battlefield looking to get injured. But in this case, an injury brought two people together and a family who could never be more proud of a soldier who wanted to do something for his country and did. He had fun over there. So, I mean, set aside, you know, being blown up is obviously not fun. But he had fun over there and that was his decision he wanted to do. He wanted to do something good with his life. So, he decided to go over there. He had a he had a fun time doing it. So I mean, I'm proud of him. I'm very proud of him. His family's proud of him. My family's proud of him. Everybody I know is proud of him. Master Sergeant Angie Sarche, San Antonio, Texas.